Another vlog today is Thursday June 21st it is currently 11 12 in the morning and I just filmed a video and as you can tell you're probably looking at my makeup going what the fuck did you do um, I didn't do it my dogs did it 
Um, it's actually a really, really cute video that I filmed. It is a my dogs pick my makeup challenge. So I filmed that just now and this is how it came out. Uh, the video should be up on my channel by now. If it's not, wait for it. You guys are kind of already getting a little bit of a sneak peek. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and start another vlog. As you can see, I opened it with Jackal's eighth birthday. I cannot believe he's eight years old already. Like time just flies by so quickly with him. I'm just Oh, uh, he's he's he will forever be my little baby and I'm gonna start importing some of the footage right now to my computer and I'm also very excited because my Jeffree Star cosmetics order for the thirsty palette should be should be shipping any day now so I'm very very excited I'm very anxious to get it I was gonna get six things but I only ended up getting three I wanted to put like some money in savings and things like that so uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for that stuff to arrive. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. I think later this week I am going to be touching up my roots because as you can see, they are absolutely insane. And then I have a wedding next weekend. And then after that is the 4th of July. And then the weekend after that is Carnival of Chaos. I'm so excited. I went and got my tickets yesterday. I just wanted to come in and check in with you guys. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are having an awesome summer so far. Uh, today is actually the first day of summer. So woohoo! that's it for right now. I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. Bye. Hey guys, today is Saturday, June 23rd. I only worked a couple hours today because I was covering for somebody and then someone else came and took like the rest of the day and I am absolutely exhausted. Um, I ended up going out to the bar last night because it was Friday and I was like, fuck it. So I ended up going there for like four hours. I didn't get home till 1 a.m. and I had to be to work at 8.30, but of course, Avril wanted to wake up super early to go potty so I was I'm just I'm very tired but after I got out of work I was like eh I'm not quite ready to go home yet but I didn't really know what I wanted to do so I ended up getting like clicking on my Facebook just to, like scroll through Facebook or whatever and I saw that tomorrow's the last day for the my nose ring is sticking out tomorrow is the last day for the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. So I was like, oh my God, perfect. I can go to Bath and Body Works and pick up some candles. So that is exactly what I did. I got a huge bag and I figured we could do a little bit of a candle haul. So literally you guys, I saved so much money. I got a total discount of $80 and I got one, two, three, I got five candles for only $42. Now without the sale, $42 would be only two candles. I got five, so I saved a total of $80, plus they gave me $10 off $40 purchase, so I think it was like 55 and then it went down to 42. So I saved a lot of money. The three wick candles were $10.50 and I only got candles just because I don't need any more like body care. I have a ton of lotion. I have a ton of like shower stuff. So I mainly just wanted to get some candles because I don't have any more. I had to run to Walmart to pick up a candle actually and that's what I'm finishing up. It's the um, mahogany driftwood. This one's like five bucks at Walmart and it smells really good, but when you light it, you can't really smell it. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna go to Bath and Body Works. I like their candles. They make my house smell really good. So I'm gonna show you all the ones that I got. Also look at this epic bruise on my elbow. Like this is why we don't drink guys, cause bad shit happens. <laughs> First they gave me like a ton of matches, these little like white barn matches. So that's really cool. And then they gave me these little pamphlets that says how to safely enjoy our candles. Because I guess a lot of people have been having issues with their candles like exploding or catching on fire when you light them. One thing that I did learn is it's really beneficial for your candles to make them last longer if you trim the wick down to one fourth of an inch every time you light it. And I've been doing that ever since I heard that and it's actually super helpful and it makes your candles last like 10 times longer, I swear to God, it's amazing. So I'm gonna show you which ones I got. So the very first one I got is a white barn candle and this one is in Mineral Springs. Sorry if it's like really dark and gloomy in here. Um, we're having like a cloudy day and during the spring and summer, I have this huge tree in front of my window and it blocks like all daylight. So during the summer months, my apartment is like super, super dark. It really sucks. I wish I could go out there and like trim a few branches, but 
you know, it is what it is. Some of the notes in this one are soothing mineral water, night blooming water lily, and a dash of limes. And it has essential oils in it. Oh, this one just smells really fresh, really clean. I really, really like this one. This would be a good one for like my living room. The next one I got is again, one of my all time favorites. That is the rose water and ivy, but the packaging is a little bit different. It just has like a New York scenery. And you guys know I absolutely love this one already. This is Central Park Ivy, white rose petals and soft musk. I love musky smells. Oh, and this one's just like a staple. I absolutely love this one. Ooh, this next one I got, I had this one before, I think, and it smells a lot like coffee. And this is the Paris Cafe Boquette. I think that's how you say that. But here's just what the packaging looks like. It has like the Ferris wheel and all that stuff. And the notes in this one are espresso beans, white tu tuberose, and bergamot zest. And I can smell the espresso so strongly in this. Oh my gosh, this one is amazing. This one's like one of my favorites and I'm gonna put this one in my kitchen for sure. The next one I got is another new one that I've never tried before. This is another white barn one. The packaging kind of looks similar to this one, but this one is white opal. And this one, I, I wasn't crazy about it, but if I was like, well, if I'm gonna spend money on candles, I wanna get some scents that I've never tried before. And the notes in this one are shimmering salt crystals, jade blossom, that's probably why I like it, lush moss, and also made with essential oils. This one just has a very like interesting smell. It kind of has like a fresh balsam kind of smell, but it also smells, I don't know, kind of, I'm getting like, like flowers, flowers and candy and fresh balsam. That's like what I'm, the thoughts that come to my head first is when I smell this one. And then the very last one I got is of course another one of my favorites, you guys know that. That is the mahogany teak wood. And look how cool this packaging is. It's like a broken glass crystal looking, I, I don't know, I just love it. And this one of course smells like a man and I love this smell, this is my all time favorite. I really do like the high intensity one as well. That one's just like really, really strong. Those of you who have never tried this one, this one has rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak and frosted lavender. So that's what mahogany teakwood is and that is everything that I got at the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. I love candles. Literally if you ever look like, I don't know if you guys can see. If you see on my ceiling, those kind of like dark lines up there, that's literally from burning so many candles. Like it's left like a, like a stain. So I'm gonna have to go up there eventually and like clean my ceiling. But I always, always, always have candles going in my apartment. I just love it. I love the fresh smell that they give. So I'm glad I went, I'm glad I saved money. That makes me feel a lot better about buying candles to burn them and throw them away. Cause that's still, that still gets to me, but I'm just gonna kind of chill, relax, drink some water because I got back from the bar, I jumped in the shower really quick, and then I just, boom, like went, took my dogs out, then just went to bed. And I didn't really take the time to drink a lot of water before bed, so I woke up just feeling shitty. I wasn't like drunk drunk, but I was pretty buzzed because I don't drink very often. So when I have like just minimal amounts of alcohol, it, it hits pretty quickly, so. Yeah, I'm gonna drink some water, chill out, and I will see you guys when my package gets here. Bye. Hello again, everybody. It is about 4.15ish in the afternoon right now, and I took a little nap. I feel a lot better. Um, I'm a little red in the face. I don't know why. I had kind of like a weird dream, and now I'm like red in the face, I don't know. But, while I was taking my little nap, we got the Thirsty Palette. I am so excited. So I'm gonna unbox it right now for you guys. And obviously I will do like a full, maybe chit chat, get ready with me, doing a look using this palette and a couple of the lip colors and do swatches and all that fun stuff. But let's go ahead and cut this open. I have been dying to get this. I would like check my email like 50 million times a day. And like as I was like sleeping or whatever, I heard the mail truck stop by my door and I was like, oh, look, yeah. This is so exciting. So here's what everything looks like packaged on the inside. It has like the really cute like popsicle Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo. That is adorable. And then the picture that we got is this one. 
That one's really cool. I love the orange background. And then of course, just my little receipt here. So I think what we're gonna do first is we're going to do the lip colors. Now I got two of the liquid lipsticks. I really only got the two that I could see myself wearing. And oh my gosh, the packaging is so cool. Oh, I love that. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that okay. But it's like orange and it has like the little like water driplets on it so it makes it look wet. Oh my God, I love that. So the very first one that I got is the nude one out of that one and that is Soft Serve. That's really pretty and I love the orange top. That is so cool. It's gonna look so cool with all of my other ones, especially like the yellow. Oh my God, those are going next to each other. But yeah, there is what Soft Serve looks like. I'm gonna do like a little switchy swatch on my hand. Ooh, that is like very, very pink. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be a crazy color on me. I don't usually wear this kind of color. But it's still pretty. I really like that one. That's gorgeous. So that is the nude color that I got. And then the second one is a bit more dramatic, especially for me. And that is, of course, Cherry Wet. Oh, that is really pretty. It looks more red on the website because in person it looks more kind of like a mauve pink. But I guess we'll have to swatch it and find out. And again, it has the really cool like orange top. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. And give a little, give a little swatchy. Ooh, oh hell yeah. So it looks a lot lighter in the bottle because there's the swatch of it right there. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Yeah, really, really happy with the liquid lips I got. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I cannot wait to wear them. And then we, of course, we have the main part of this order the Thirsty Palette. So I'm just going to rip open the paper. Oh, fuck, I should have kept this paper. Damn it. Guess I'm just gonna have to make another order. All right, ah, here it is. And we have some bubble wrap protecting it. So here is what the outside box looks like. Again, it has like these little spots on it that make it look wet. And then when you open it up, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I cannot believe this is in my hands right now. I absolutely love the way this looks. It looks totally different than all of his other palettes. Um, Beauty Killer and Androgyny are a little bit longer and shorter. And then everyone knows what blood sugar looks like. So this one's very interesting. Still really compact, still really easy to travel with. I love the color. I love the fact that it looks like a popsicle. I love that they did like this theme on it. It just, it feels so, so cool. So without further ado, let us op let's open this bad boy up. You guys ready? Ooh! Oh my God. These eyeshadows, they look like butter. Look at how pretty those are. Look at those metallics. Oh my God. So what really got me about this palette is this yellow color right here and this kind of like transition-y neutral brown color. But now that I'm looking at it, like I actually really do like these ones up here. And then I love the metallics. He said these are like a new formula that he's trying and it has this thing protecting the mirror up here, but we can take that off. Boom, beautiful. Yeah, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I want to swatch some, but I don't want to like mess any of them up. Um, I do want to swatch one of these metallics, so I think I'm going to swatch. Oh, bitch. So I just swatched this one down here, and this is in the shade Plunge. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Wow. Oh, those are so nice. And they feel, they really do feel like butter. Like they look like butter and they feel like butter. Now I really want to try this yellow shade and this one is Quench. Holy crap. How do you get an eyeshadow to do that? I don't understand. So there's what the yellow looks like. I'm going to swatch it right above. Okay, so there's the yellow. Um, it's probably 
will be buildable. <laughs> next, I'm gonna swatch this blue next to the yellow, and this one is Submerge. It's gonna go on, and they, they are so soft. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm just gonna, yep, that's beautiful. I absolutely love that one. That is really pretty. Next one is like a, kind of like a teal color almost, and that one is Splash. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and go right above. Okay, so that is really pretty. I love these colors, they're all so like, so summery, I love it. The only other one that I want to swatch is this kind of like coral pink reddish color and this one is called Bitch. Whereas Jaclyn Hill hasn't had that trademark yet. And I'm gonna put that one right on top. Okay. Well, that's, that's really pretty. It's definitely a really nice coral color. Wow, I cannot wait to play with these on my eyes. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking excited. Okay, so this whole thing right here is all Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Lure liquid lipsticks, lip ammunitions, and then I have like some extras over here, some backups, and another lip ammunition here. So I have I have a ton. I'm going to add these two to the family. I really wanna put them next to the um, summer 2016 for sure. So I think I want to move all the lip ammunitions. All right, so here are all of them updated. We have Christmas, family collection, backups. These are all, all the ones that are turned upside down are all part of his um, permanent line. I just do it this way so it makes it easier to see. Christmas, Valentine's Day, summer 2018, summer 2016, Manny MUA, and then Christmas 2015. So I just kind of like to keep a theme going and then all the ones that are part of his permanent line, I like to just put upside down like this, but yeah, this whole thing is all liquid lipsticks and then everything right here are all of his lip ammunitions and then everything else is just like all my other lipsticks. This big thing is like my pride and joy, my babies, I love them so much. And all of my Jeffree Star palettes are all back here. So we have the blood sugar palette, gorgeous. And then we have his two other ones which is Androgyny and Beauty Killer. Of all of his palettes, the Androgyny is the one that I use the most. Like you can even see like how beat up it is, but I love this one. I love the packaging of this one. Like I just, I use the crap. And as you can see, like look at the, look at Safe Word. Like I'm almost so close to hitting pan on that. I just, I love this palette so much. And the new one, Thirsty. <sighs> you guys. I absolutely love my little collection so much. I'm sorry if this is coming off as like bragging, but like, you know how people like do like their Hello Kitty collections or their plushy collections? Like this is like my collection. This is my aesthetic is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I just, I love it so much. So I'm just gonna keep these safely back here. And that is everything for that little unboxing. I think I am actually going to move this picture into my little picture frame. I have like so many pictures that my frame is like falling apart. And all this is a this most of them I like made that collage thing and the rest of them I just shove in here and like duct tape the back. Cause I literally keep every single picture that comes out in a launch. So I'm gonna have to like fix that. Uh, right now I think I'm going to make something to eat and kind of relax and I think Tomorrow or next week sometime, I will play it with the Thirsty palette for the first time. I am so excited, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But until then, I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Tuesday, June 26th, and my sister is here. She's in the kitchen though, you can't see her. Brooke, poke your head out and say hi! hi. Yeah, there she is. Um, so today we're actually doing something kind of cool. 
So my mom has really been big into like DNA testing and like seeing where she's from, where her family's from. So her, my mom and my dad did theirs already. And my mom decided to surprise me and my sister with our own little My Heritage DNA kit. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let me know if you want to see a video on my results on my channel and my sister's results on her channel. Cause she also has her own little DNA test kit that she's going to do. So I already registered it. So the only thing I need to do is swab the inside of my mouth. It's pretty easy to do. Basically you just swab your mouth a couple of times and then you mail in your results. And then I think it takes like what, four to six weeks? Yeah. Four to six weeks to get your results back. Okay, so when you open the kit, here is what it looks like. It just opens up like that. And then it has just the instructions on the inside. And then it has the little envelope that you are supposed to mail in with your return address. And you just put this in the mailbox. And then it has these, this little bag where you put the samples. And then it has the two vials that you put the Q-tips in. And then of course it comes with the actual Q-tip. So basically you swab the inside of your mouth for, I believe it's 30 to 60 seconds, break it off into each vial, mail it in, bing, bang, boom, you're done. So I thought this would be kind of cool. It'll be interesting to see what my sister gets and what I get and like how much in common we have with our parents. So let's get to swabbing. All right, so I'm gonna open up this little Q-tip thingy. Looks like that. <clears throat> let's swab. Okay, let me just pop it in there. How do you break these off? Oh, I got it. You have to like kind of break it off on the side. Okay, so there's one little sample in there. That's so weird that like my DNA is in this thing now. I don't know. It's really bizarre. Okay, and the second one. So you like break it off where that little black thing is. Like, like that. And then you just seal this up really tight. That's what it looks like. Ew. So it looks something like that. All right, we're done. We're gonna go throw these in the mailbox and I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye. Say bye, Brooke. Bye. You gotta wave bye. You gotta be polite. Say bye. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Thursday, June 28th. It is about 9.24 in the morning. I'm with my sister. Hi. And we're on our way to my mom's house because we're actually going to get our nails done today for the wedding that we're going to tomorrow. And I figured I would show you like a little before of my nails because they are so grown out. Uh, I think the last time I got them done was maybe like three and a half weeks ago, maybe even longer, but they're so grown out. I don't know what color I'm gonna do yet. I don't know if I'm gonna go dark or a nude. I don't really know. So here are my nails before. As you can see, they're super grown out and they still have that like yellow nude glitter on them. So there's the before and after. So the color that I got was called butternut squash. It's just kind of like this like dark nude color. I really like it. So I just basically got a fill and polish change. So my nails are all set and ready to go. And now we are, it is about 1.30 in the afternoon. We just picked up the flowers and all that stuff. These really pretty like red bouquets that me and my sister are gonna have for the wedding. And I'm just kind of sitting in the car with the air conditioning on with them while they get the cake. So we're getting the cake now. And I think we're gonna just hang out the rest of the day. Don't really have anything else planned. So with my nails, I go to a nail salon that's like really close to my apartment and we went to a different one because we went with my mom. So we went to the one that she always goes to. And he, I had a guy do my nails. I've never had a guy do my nails before. And for some reason, when he started working on this nail, when he was like filing down the old acrylics to like do the fill, when he started drilling on this one he went a little too ham and out of nowhere this nail was on 
fire. Like it literally felt like I had my hand over a flame, or not my hand, but like this finger over a flame. It hurt so freaking bad. Like I was in so much goddamn pain, trying so hard not to cry, but I didn't want to say anything. But my whole finger and nail, just this one, the rest of them feel fine, but this one like really fucking hurts. And I started bleeding because he kept drilling at it. Like, so my natural nail that he was drilling, he got too thin, so it started bleeding. So that is like, and I've never had like a bad nail experience before. This was my very first one and it like, it really hurts. Like I'm in a lot of pain, but the rest of them feel good. The rest of them look good. Um, I'm happy with it. So I think I'm gonna get my nails done again one last time before carnival. If this one's feeling okay, if it's not, I'm just gonna have to tough it out because I, I don't want anything else like touching this nail because it really fucking hurts. But other than that, everything went well. Um, I definitely am gonna need a nap later because I'm, I'm exhausted. Right now they're inside Marge's donut den, picking up the cake and I'm chilling with the flowers with the air conditioner on. All right, and my sister got her nails done. This is what hers look like. What color did you get? It was called um, like Ash Rose, I think. Ash Rose. Yeah, just a really pretty like, I don't know. It doesn't really look rose to me. It looks it doesn't like a, either. It's just, I don't know. It's like a light pink corally, I don't know. Rose color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. I know, it's just like, mine's called butternut squash. I don't know, that's right. what you get. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told him about my oh, little experience, yeah. so. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Today is July 1st of 2018. I cannot believe we're already in July. That is freaking insane to me. So I think the last time I vlogged, we were picking up the cake for the wedding. And yeah, uh, the day after that, Friday was the wedding and it was really good. It was really beautiful. It went by really quick, which is what the couple wanted. So yeah, it was just, it was a really good day. It was really pretty. Everything worked out perfectly. And then after we basically just went out to eat, had some drinks, had some cake, called it a night. So yeah, I think that's the last time I vlogged. Um, Saturday, yesterday, I didn't really do anything. I went to the grocery store to pick up like a few little things that I needed and that was about it because we are having like a serious freaking heat wave right now in Michigan. Like these temperatures that we're having are not really that normal for us. Like usually we'll get like a day like this maybe like once or twice a year, but it's been like a whole week of like 90 degree weather and that's just not a thing. For us here, like I know in other states, like 90 degrees isn't shit, but like here in Michigan, like that is like, that's a lot of heat to handle. So I have literally been staying inside in my AC. My electric bill is going to be through the roof because I've had my AC running for like two days straight. So yeah, my bill's gonna be expensive, but worth it because I cannot stand the heat. I just wanted to come on here and end this vlog. Uh, I might start another one soon. I don't know what I'm doing for the 4th of July yet. I'll have to keep you guys posted on that, but I really wanna start another vlog soon because in only a couple weeks, it is the Carnival of Chaos, and you guys know I go to that every year and vlog it every year. So yeah, I just kinda wanna end this vlog and get it up for you guys as soon as possible. So that's what I'm gonna do. Did you eat your dinner? Was it yummy? Avril, you have yours in the kitchen. Don't eat his food, yours is in the kitchen. Go get it, I can see it. But yeah, I'm just kinda chilling. I've been editing, I'm gonna start editing this vlog and upload this vlog for you guys, so. Yeah, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all really enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to give me a huge, huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out the dog's Instagram page as well. I always have a link for that down in the description box. But until then, I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!